Hi there, it's Peter here, and this is a quick visual guide to scroll magic. We'll cover the controller, scene, trigger element, trigger hook, offset, and duration. Let's do it! Scroll magic is a JavaScript plugin that lets you animate or trigger animations on scroll. So let's assume we have a browser window or a viewport at a specific size. The browser window would look something like this or even better, something like this. The first thing we'll need to set up in JavaScript is a controller. Controller is a reference to a DOM element that has the overflow, that has the scroll bar. And in most cases, this would be your browser window or the whole body. You can also set your own custom container, but in 99% of the times, you would use the body scroll bar to control your animations. The next thing we would define is a scene. Scene is an invisible layer that could contain a single twin or a complex timeline or just trigger a class change on a specified element. Let's assume we have a red circle that we want to fade out as we scroll down the page. We would define this as a single twin and then add it to the scene itself. For each of the scroll magic scenes, we need to also define the trigger element. This is a element, any HTML element that will trigger the timeline or twin. And it's always the top of that element that will be used to trigger it. If our circle had an ID circle on it, we could easily pass in the CSS selector. So hash circle or use the document dot get element by ID and pass in the trigger this way. Now that we have our scene and twin defined, we would already see a movement on the page because the trigger hook is by default set to the middle of the viewport. So the trigger hook default value is 0.5, which means that the, when the top of our element reaches the middle of the viewport, the animation is triggered. You can use any number between zero and one to define your trigger hook. The zero would be top of the viewport, one would be the bottom of the viewport, or alternatively, you can use the keywords on leave and on enter to define your trigger hook. Zero is the same as if you use on leave and one is the same as on enter. To be in precise control of our animation, you can also define offset. In our example, if we set the offset to 200, we would see the animation being triggered 200 pixels later. That means that the user would need to scroll extra 200 pixels than initially without the offset. Now we'll have a look how the duration works, but before we do that, we'll clean up the table. We'll get rid of everything and create a new single simple twin. Boom. Duration has a default value of zero, which means that when the top of our element reaches the middle of the viewport, it will trigger the animation and it will take the amount of seconds that we define in the green sock twin. And if we set the duration to 200, it would take the user 200 pixels of scrolling to see the whole animation from start to finish. So he'll be in control of the playback itself. And that's it. Hope this scroll magic overview was useful, especially when you're starting with it. Leave a comment under the video if you want to see more scroll magic tutorials. Give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. You can also use the keywords on leave or on enter or or enter or 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 on enter.